With just days ahead of the World Cup, here is my ideal starting 11 for Germany at the World Cup in Qatar. Let's get right into it. Welcome back to Talking Bayern, the one-stop shop for Bayern Munich and German national team content on YouTube. Today I'll be talking about my ideal starting 11 for Germany in Qatar. This is not what I think Hansi Flick is going to go for. This is not what most people want. This is my ideal. This is what I want to see in the starting 11. I mean, I'm fine with other lineups too, but this is, if I made the lineup, this is what I would want in there in net. Let's just get right into it. It has to be Manuel Neuer. There's no other debate. In my opinion, obviously Ter Stegen's having a solid season, but it's Manuel Neuer. He is the big game guy. He's won, obviously, World Cup finals. He's won Champions League finals. He is the man to be here for us. It has to be him. There's really no debate there. Kevin Trapp's in form as well, but come on. We all know it's going to be Neuer. There is never going to be any debate here. Even if Neuer has missed a lot of time this season, it had to be him. In defense, I think this is the most like highly contested area, apart from maybe the striker spot. So in defense at left back, I'm going to pick David Rom. Obviously, there's option. You have Gunter there. And obviously, Robin Gosens was looking like a solid option, you know, in recent years for us. Um, obviously, he had a great showing at the Euro last year, but he's been excluded from the squad. I think that was a big surprise for many. So obviously, I want to wait until after the releases 26 man squad for my ID 11. And obviously, Gosens maybe comes in a five back, I can see. But in this situation, I don't see it happening. Um, I think it's Rome over Gunter. Gunter, great. I think he's going to come in and make some plays for us. Um, he's obviously a very good player. But it has to be Rom at left back for me. And in center back, I'm going to go Schlotterbeck and Rudiger with Sula at right back. Obviously, I want to say Sula right, right back right off the bat because if I don't say that right away, you guys are going to say, oh my gosh, you're not starting Sula over Schlotterbeck or Rudiger. So obviously, Schlotterbeck, Rudiger, and Sula on the right side. Um, so I think Schlotterbeck's had a lot of mistakes for Germany. You know, a lot of bad fouls, drawing penalties, and... He hasn't really has had a perfect career with Germany so far, but he's been good for Freiburg. He's been good for Dortmund. I think he's a good young center back. Could be you know, a very solid option for us for years to come. And I think he is worth getting the starting role. And I think, obviously, if we start Sula and at, at center back, I think Schlotterbeck should not be played. And I think it should be Sula and Rudiger. But if we move Sula right back, um, this is what obviously this is what I want. Um, so just keep that in mind. I do think Sula and Rudiger will actually start center back with like Tilo Kerr at right back. Um, but I think Sula is a really good option right back. That's what I would do with the defense. I think you get the most of your players having Rom, Schlarbeck, Rudiger, and Sula in there. I think if you throw Kerr in there, it, I'm not a big fan of Kerr. To be completely honest, I don't think he um, is all that great. In the midfield, this is another one of great debate because we obviously Kimmich is an absolute lock to start there. But then you have Gundogan, who's been so great for us. He takes our penalties. He's been a really solid option for us uh, over the last few years. Um, but then you have Leon Gretzka, who uh, people were like not so sure he was going to get back into form after all his injuries and his problems. But now, look at him. He's been great for Bayern Munich this season. He's stolen that spot right back from Marcel Sabitzer. So I really think Kimmich and Gretzka is the best option here. They have so much chemistry together, um, and really, it's just going to be a beast of a Bayern midfield, in my opinion. That's what I want. So that will lead right into the attack. Sané, Musiala, and Nabry is my ideal midfield, attacking midfield. So Sané at the left, Musiala in the central, and then Nabry at the right. Obviously, Sané can come in the middle, and Musiala can play on the left wing. Doesn't really matter, but I want these three players in the attack. I think they're all really solid options. They're all in form right now for Bayern, doing great things in the Bundesliga and even in like the Champions League. So I'm really hoping we get a lot out of these players. Obviously, they have the chemistry. There's just so much these players have um, in common. I think they're just going to play really, really well together. Um, I think there is an argument to you know, throw you know Muller in the midfield, put Musiala um, on the wing, and then throw Nabry up top. Um, but I'm going to have Havertz at my striker. I think he is proven. I think he's not perfect. He's not going to blow us away, but... He is obviously like he has good potential. He did well at the Euros. He did well against England, scoring those two nice goals. Um, thanks to Harry Maguire's mistakes, of course. But I think Fulkrick and Mukoko are great options off the bench. But I think it's gonna be Havertz or Muller that gets the start there. I don't think Muller is a great striker option. Obviously, he's a World Cup guy. Obviously, he's proven that. Um, so I do want him to have a big role. But I'm not sure that Muller is in my starting eleven right now. Just based off recent form, um, without Lewandowski, he hasn't quite 
been the same, to be completely honest, but I love Moore. I think he's a very good player. He had a bad showing at the Euros, obviously that mistake against England that really should have scored that one, but I think he has a big role. Even though he's not my starting 11, I do love Thomas Muller, so hopefully no one tags me for that. But I think this is a really, really strong 11, and honestly, I was looking at it. Um, I think we got a really good shot in this tournament. I mean, I think this will be another video, probably my final video before the World Cup will be how far will Germany make it, but um, this is a really good starting 11. Uh, I, I honestly think people are really... Um, hard on this team considering how good it is if you just look at this 11 even compared to like Spain some people think Spain's going to win the group compare this lineup to Spain we are a much better team um, in the midfield and the attack in net um, there could be a debate in defense but I don't know I think we're a very very strong squad one of the best in the tournament so really excited to see what this team does and what Flick goes with at the tournament but obviously it's going to be a different starting 11 each game I imagine at the World Cup so hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know your starting 11 in the comments below. Hope to see you on the next one. Until then, Mia Samia. Go Germany.